The Lift It Retreat tickets are officially freaking live. Eight yeah. out of ten, actually. Really? It's good. I love farmers markets. Story time of arguably the scariest moment of my entire life. All right, before we get into the vlog, I just need to announce that the Lift It Retreat tickets are officially freaking live. I'm so stoked. You can go down to the link in the description box to purchase your ticket. We are going to Costa Rica from June 9th to June 16th of 2023. And I'm just so freaking excited because I've been wanting to go to Costa Rica for freaking years. I've been really active about this on my Instagram story, but in case you aren't caught up, essentially I'm gonna be hosting two no equipment group workouts, which I'm hyped about, and then two workouts workshops that are going to be all about like self-exploration and betterment so we're going to be using components of like journaling meditation affirmations intention setting all that good stuff just to help you get the most out of this retreat and also set you up for success when you leave and go home so there's going to be also five different activities already included in the itinerary which is going to be ranging from snorkeling hiking waterfall visits going to hot springs going to an organic farm like i'm just so excited and then there's also three optional activities like an additional activities that you can pay after for to opt into if you would like and that's gonna include like zip lining a tour of the national park those types of things so again you can go click the link down below to check out our full itinerary and there's only a certain amount of seats in the trip so we need a minimum of eight people and then we're going to cap out at 20 people so the maximum amount of spots are 20 people tickets are obviously at a first come first serve basis and there are payment plans available so only 25% of the actual cost is due up front as a down payment and then you have the rest of the time in order to pay it off or you could also of course just pay it completely in full up front upon purchasing your ticket here's a little screenshot of the cancellation policy because i have gotten a lot of questions with that as well so yeah i think that's all the logistics and information i'm just really freaking excited to travel with you guys and give you guys a space and also a community of people to just better yourselves as a whole i really want you guys having a lot of fun on the trip and you know make a lot of good memories and be able to explore and adventure and also relax and like have it be of a vacation but I also want it to be rejuvenating in the sense of you know you feeling more grounded within yourself having done some self exploration during that time and kind of gathering some more tools in your toolbox to then allow you to apply it in your everyday life after the retreat so I'm hoping to give you guys some tangible tools um, and kind of mindsets and perspectives and things like that to help you live the live fit lifestyle moving forward in your everyday life so i'm just really excited i'm so excited to meet you guys and hang out i am going to be completely there with you like every single step of the way like we truly are genuinely going to be traveling together <laughs> and freaking costa rica if you're interested hit the link in the description box and it'll take you there and you can purchase your ticket and let me know if you sign up dm me on instagram at live fit maybe send me a screenshot something or other so then we could just celebrate and be hyped together welcome back to the show so <laughs> i feel like i have a lot of things to update uh in this vlog but right now i don't have the time to do so but we're going to a farmer's market which i'm really excited about because obviously for a lot of different reasons want to support local i love farmer's markets they're so freaking cute and i'm just excited for like the fresh fruits and vegetables because i feel like they're going to be so freaking good so I guess I'll do a fit check. Wait till you hear the story, but essentially I had a really uh, scary surfing incident yesterday. And so I have cuts everywhere, which I will show you later. So I'm trying to cover up the cuts so they don't, you know, just marinate in the sun and like I'm trying to prevent scarring. So I'm wearing these rip curl shorts, which I literally wear every single day of my life. This super old crop top, literally from Forever 21. My Lululemon zip up, and then I just got this hat that says Stoke and Aloha from TNC Hawaii. This little bucket hat, and uh, oof. Okay, sneak peek. That needs to stay covered. Anyway, let's go to the farmer's market. I just went into CVS, or whatever, Long Long's Drugs, to get some stuff to bandage up my freaking cuts because I literally have one directly on the bottom of my foot and it is so uncomfortable to walk and I also want to make sure that everything stays out of the sun. Oh. Ow. Okay. <laughs> There's the cut on the bottom of my foot. Super in an inconvenient spot because every time I walk I step on it obviously. Then I also have this one on the back of my arm amongst a bunch of other little ones all through on my arm. This like isn't fully necessary, but 
Dunzo. Next big one is the one on my hip. The most raw one, and I really don't want that to scar, so. My nurse, Gwen. Yeah. <laughs> nurse Gwen, I don't know if that's smart, but. <laughs> She's gonna b literally about to ointment up my booty cheek. This is MVP friend status. Dude, I am so excited. I love farmer's markets. This literally is my ideal when there's like jewelry and there fruit and like pictures and just everything. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. I wonder what this is. The other piece like of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return <laughs> from the afterglow, I'm so excited. <laughs> will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Oh my God, I'm so sad. <laughs> How fantastic is this? One of the first times we hung out here, she whipped out her water bottle and said, "Live, look," and I said, "You're just looking." <laughs> I love it. I love it too. Number one fan. <laughs> I was like, I just popped up and I was like, hey, you know you're the number one fan. <laughs> All right, that farmer's market was the cutest thing of my entire existence. Feeling is all gone. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung the I got an ahi tuna sandwich. It's ahi tuna with greens, sprouts, and avocado on ciabatta bread. Put the side salad. Gwen, go again. I got a capri, panini, and like, you know, the deal, right? I give it 8 yeah. out of 10, honestly. Really? It's good. Wait. Hold on. We'll be together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone And uh, we're literally in the middle of Hawaii, but somehow we ended up here and we were looking at silverware, so. I feel like I'm sponsored. I know. Sponsored by Lift Fit. Sponsored by Lift Fit. I Lift Fit. This whole trip is sponsored by Lift Fit. Yeah. <laughs> we wish, bro. Put on the company card. All right, bye, dude. Bye. <laughs> So we're back at the Cribbo, got some lunch, shopped around, and then we ended up going to Goodwill, a thrift store. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got there, and then I had to stop at the actual grocery store. So I figured, let's do a haul, you know? So let's start with the farmer's market situation, which I'm really excited about. So first I got hummus, which I've been on the hunt for just good, fresh hummus, which I've yet to try this, which I'm really excited about because... All the hummuses like in the grocery stores are just like packed with vegetable oils. Ooh, it smells great. So this was like very natural. Then I got some lettuce, which I'm not sure what kind this is. It kind of is like, I don't know, but it's really just nice and luscious. Then I got some tomatoes. I don't know why I said it like that, but I got three. Then I got a zucchini. 
and these fruits which i don't know what they're called i thought they're called a chino which coincidentally or chico or something like but chico is boy in spanish i don't know what it is but it's so funny because literally just when i got home i was on tiktok for a second i saw a pepperoni muffin cutting these and i was like yo we literally just had these today so it basically is a fruit that tastes like brown sugar and the guy there let us try it and it 100 percent tastes like brown sugar like it's super sweet and i absolutely love it it had like the texture of like kind of a pear and then i got a papaya because why not and i've always wanted to try a papaya i've never actually had one before and then this was so just not smart on my end, but essentially I, there's like a $15 minimum credit card charge, right? So like I had to spend at least 15 bucks so I don't get like an additional fee. And I had been wanting a mango and that was like the perfect time for me to buy the mango because it was like four extra bucks or whatever. And that's what I've gotten to the $15, but whatever, for some reason I completely panicked, even though I've been talking about how badly I wanted to get a mango and ended up getting some tangerines. So I also got, which is wilted now because then everything was in the car for a long time while we were, Gwen and I were shopping. So I also got some like cilantro. Let's try this hummus. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm. It definitely needs to be refrigerated more. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, and then from the thrift store, I got literal houseware because <laughs> I have forks here in my Airbnb, obviously, but not a lot of them. And I just feel like I go through them really quickly. And so I literally got three forks and a baby spoon for a dollar. And they're honestly really freaking cool. And I've been really vibing with baby spoons, especially for my like oatmeal. So I got that and some really rad different forks. And all of the forks here are all different to begin with. So like I liked keeping that tradition of like adding random forks and then i got this cutest little mug for 99 cents which there was a lot of them and i should have bought two so that i at least could have had a pair and like take these home with me but i don't know i really really love this like i love the palm trees and the little waves so i'm really excited about this mug and then i needed more tupperware because again i have tupperware but like i just need a little bit more especially when i'm like storing fruit that i cut for the week or something like that and then plus when i'm cooking like i need more stuff for my leftovers so i found this purex one it's like actually really nice and then then from the grocery store, I got ketchup because I've been needing ketchup. No high fructose corn syrup, always. Some garlic powder because I've been needing garlic powder. A mango because I just was like, I really want a mango. And so got that. You guys, I've been eating so much fruit, it's insane. Then I got a honey mango because I really wanted, I actually just discovered it today and I was like, that sounds really good because I love mango and then like plus honey, like if it's even sweeter, I'm gonna love this so much. And I love trying new fruits here. I just feel like it's like part of, I don't know, getting involved in everything. Two apples, just because I got a Fuji apple and a Gala apple. Then I got a kiwi as well. Then I got some Marlin, a Marlin filet, which is very interesting. I looked it up because I didn't know what type of fish this was, but it's kind of similar looking to a swordfish. So this was on a win, but again, while I'm here, I'm trying to try new things. I found turkey bacon. I'm beyond stoked about because I was fully managed to prepare to go a whole, this whole entire two months without turkey bacon. A turkey bacon that I actually like agree with the ingredients, I should say. I'm so excited for this. Then I got some organic um, eggs, of course, because I'm always eating eggs. And I'm trying to eat more things organic. I'm trying to be better about that. And then I got wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon it's frozen okay guys so i figured i would finish out this vlog with a story time of arguably the scariest moment of my entire life and you know it's just ironic and humbling definitely to say that last vlog i was like omg like surfing in hawaii shaka and then the next time i went out like i literally got crumbled and rocked and spit back out by the ocean <laughs> telling me to remember my place i essentially just got into a pretty gnarly little surfing incident and got rammed into a reef which seems to be like pretty normal occurrence here but for me like i was kind of petrified and i got pretty decent reef rash which disclaimer here's some semi bloody photos and photos of cuts so if that grosses you out skip a few seconds but this is pretty much what i looked like after the incident when i came out of the water i have cuts like literally everywhere all over my body like just everywhere all over my hands arms legs feet bottom of my foot like it's everywhere so essentially i went back to surf 
for the first time alone to the same exact beginner surf spot that I went when I did my beginner surf lesson. And I seriously, like, I wasn't super naive. Like, I feel like I would admit it if I was like, no, that was so stupid of me. Like, it really wasn't. Last time I went to go for my last lesson, I asked my instructor, I was like, okay, in terms of next steps, like you saw me, you know, where my surfing level is at, what do I do next if I'm, you know, still a beginner surfer who wants to learn? And they're like, yeah, for sure, just grab a board, come back out here and like rock it, you know, just try to, you learn what you learn and come out here and just practice. I was like, okay, say less. <laughs> like, I would love to do that. I was asking so many questions, you guys, about the actual ocean know-how, and I full out said that. I was like, I don't feel like I need a ton of guidance on surfing, like obviously, like just essentially what's most important to me is ocean know-how and ocean knowledge, because I'm so scared of having a bad accident because the ocean is so strong and it's just like a whole different beast. And like quite literally, I don't know if I, manifested this or whatever like this was quite literally my biggest fear when it came to learning how to surf like and that is what happened this day so essentially i go out there i did the exact same thing in my lesson right i went through the channel i like went out to where you were supposed to swim out in like the same lane you're supposed to to then meet up in like the actual surf area i ended up getting caught by the current and <laughs> I didn't even fully realize, obviously, like in the moment that I was drifting and then I turned and realized like, whoa, how did I, like everything happened so fast, you guys, like I can't even explain it. It happened so fast. And then I'm starting to see that I'm drifting towards this reef, which I honestly thought it was a rocks at first, but regardless, I was like, this is not a good place to be. Like I should not be this close or getting this close. And so I think that's also what made it so much scarier was because like I knew it was there and I was trying to get away from it. So it was more like an impending doom, like, a slow death situation so I was obviously trying to paddle and go back to get away from it but at that point I was like already way too like I was kind of past the point of no return like I was just way too into the current so I thought I was paddling but I just wasn't moving and so when I was trying to paddle I kind of got knocked off my board because the waves were pretty big and again I was kind of like in this current situation and so I got knocked off my board which kind of disoriented me but also now looking back I feel like made the crash a little bit better because I already was able to kind of brace myself in the water anyways so then I'm turning around and I'm like holy frick I'm freaking face to face with this reef and that's when I was like I very well could get slammed right now and like get knocked out like I just didn't know what was gonna happen and I've never been in this situation before and like I said this was exactly what I was fearing so like it just was really 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 scary in the moment and then I of course got caught in one of the crashes of the wave and got rocked into the reef when the wave broke onto the reef at that point when I knew the wave was coming and I knew there was gonna be my first impact of just ramming into the reef and I did everything I could to try to keep my head above water because I just did not wanna get caught in the actual wave itself and then get disoriented and just be a rag doll underwater. But I tried to put my hands down a little bit to try to brace myself against the reef so I wasn't just, again, getting rammed into it like a rag doll. And I truly think that helped me so much and like helped me brace the impact on the reef. So then I'm rammed into this reef and I, I felt it and as soon as I did I was like that was a really big freaking cut like I just knew that was gonna be really deep because reefs are sharp if you guys don't know like the whole thing is just prickly and so at that point I had to like crawl up onto the reef because I didn't want to sit there and keep getting railed by the water like I thought at that point it was safer for me to climb up onto this reef to get out of the impact zone but then the board this I'm still attached to my surfboard which is still in the water as I'm climbing up onto the reef so now I'm panicking again because I don't want the re the board to get taken by the water or whatever and then like yank me off the reef and like have that hole be another thing like that would be awful like guys the reef feels like sandpaper essentially so just imagine being stuck on that so I'm like like frantically trying to pull up my board on the leash while being straight up like stranded on this island of a reef okay and I finally get the board up it's like kind of flapping on the wind it's like pretty cumbersome as well obviously the waves are still crashing and kind of like making me kind of plop back over onto the reef and so then I'm sitting there I get the board up and for a second I'm like what the hell do I do now and I'm like looking out at the other surfers and I'm just like 
because I didn't know I was scared then to even jump off the reef because I didn't want to now be in the same situation of like the possibility of getting rammed into the reef by the water again. So I was nervous of what to do and I didn't know like how far the reef would extend because like when I ran, when I first rammed into the reef, it was like reef with some shallow water because it's kind of like an iceberg, right? So like there was some reef covered by water and then eventually the reef came out of the water. And so I'm sitting there regrouping and I'm like, what the hell do I do? There's more waves that kept coming that kept like knocking me over on the freaking reef and everywhere I go, it's like prickly. And I'm like, okay, this is such like not a safe area. Like this is not a rest zone. I still need to get out of here as soon as possible. And I wasn't really sure exactly what to do, like I said. So I was like, do I yell for help to the other surfers? Like, do people see me? And so then I'm kind of trying to crouch down. This was a whole ordeal. Then I'm trying to crouch down behind the reef because I'm hoping it will kind of help protect me from like the break of the wave so it will stop like, you know, knocking me over and then like making me fall onto the reef even more if that makes sense. At that point, I'm about to jump off because I'm like, I'm just gonna try to throw my board in and jump onto the board and kind of go for it. At that point, I'm seeing another surfer start to paddle over me and I was like, okay, I think he sees me. It kind of was still like, he couldn't really do anything to come get me. So I was like, I just still need to get off it. So then I put my board in, I waited till there was like a break in the waves. So like I was looking out until there wasn't a lot of big waves coming and I just paddled. The first thing that guy said to me, I didn't even say a word. I wasn't even, I just was paddling straight like my face was just blank and he was like you're okay don't panic you you made it you got it off you're okay just breathe and like again I wasn't like openly outwardly panicked at that point I hadn't said anything but just him saying that like I was so thankful for him and like that's honestly what made me emotional afterwards because I was like he didn't again he didn't really do anything physically to save me but like just him being there his support and his guidance I was like thank you like I truly felt like he was an angel for me and then he just paddled with me to take me to shore like we went around the cove like so we were kind of on the back side of the current and then there was a surf tent there who had rent surfboards and they had like hydrogen peroxide and stuff so they cleaned me up I rinsed everything out with the outdoor shower and they bandaged everything and like I had so many people come up to me and ask like what happened and a good amount of people were like yeah like the same thing happened to me like I got caught in the reef it took off my fin so I wasn't sure if like that was like a normal experience like in the surfing world and I just paid my dues or like if I should be petrified <laughs> but honestly since then I feel like it's decently normal like every time people have heard it now they're like ooh refresh like that sucks but like in the moment you guys I was so freaking scared but honestly like I do feel really grateful because a it taught me the lesson even more like by actually living it like if that was something I was always scared of so me being able to like live it I feel like taught me a more tangible lesson a and b I'm also thankful that I was able to face my fear because I feel like that fear has held me so ha hold me back so much in terms of trying to surf so kind of knowing that I faced that and got out at the other side is kind of like I almost want to say liberating in a weird way because I don't really feel chained by my fear anymore and it's just like cool I guess that I was able to you know, face my fear and come out on the other side, if that makes sense. And now I learned so much about just currents and all that sort of stuff and learning how to read the water. And I just, I don't know, there's a lot of things that were said to me yet the other day that I thought would have been explained to me during my lesson, which were like the questions I was asking him in my lesson that I guess weren't the answers that I needed to hear so that I would prevent what just happened. But I don't know, I learned a lot and I'm seeing it as like my rite of passage, you know, into the surf world. I just paid my dues. My one friend Anna was like, hey dude, like this makes you a surfer girl now. And I was like, I wish it did, but I think it just makes me a Jerry, so. <laughs> Which someone else DM'd me and said it's called a kook, K-O-K, -K, in the surfing world. And I guess that's what I am. I do know that when you're, you know, trying extreme sports like this, like it's just part of the game. It's kind of like you want to drive a car, but you don't want to have to stop and get gas. Like it's kind of that whole situation. So I know this is the risk that I signed up for. I'm learning every day about water smarts and like ocean knowledge to just be more aware and knowledgeable in situations like that. But I just wanted to share that because not every single aspect about this Hawaii trip has been glamorous. There are ups and downs, and this was definitely a less fortunate situation. Situation, but everything is healing pretty well. I'm trying to stay out of the sun for a few days just to help with like scarring and stuff like that. But so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get back out there soon because I'm dying to go every time I see. I look at my board in my room. So anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this sporadic vlog, a little bit of everything. Don't forget to go get your freaking Live Fit Retreat tickets through the link in the description box below. I'm super freaking excited about this. I'm really excited to meet you guys, be able to adventure with you guys, travel with you guys, explore, work on ourselves, better ourselves together, and just give you guys a retreat of your own. I feel like right now here in Hawaii, I'm like in my own self-expansion retreat. So I'm very excited to be able to kind of provide that experience for you guys in Costa Rica. I'm sending you guys so, so much love. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.